Hello everybody, I'm your friend in the neighborhood Let's Player Spider-Man and I welcome you back to Millennium 2.2. As we left off, we're getting close to building the Karak, but for now I'm just still waiting for Meteor to return. And apparently I had a probe in my bay that I haven't sent anywhere. So how about we do that first, before I build more probes. Um. Let's see, I'm Vincent Saturn, so Mimus. Did I have anything to Mimus? Nope. So, you will be sent there. I'm probably gonna take a hundred days. Just like with the Saturn. Yep. Just as I thought. And just one day was left on those two, apparently. Okay. Make you land, make you land, past one hour, so they've landed, back to colonization, so Jupiter first. Rock has a mineral asteroid, that's good, please have, well, it doesn't have that many copper and platinum, but I'll still take it. I usually take only those that have a lot of copper and platinum because they really are so far it's the these are the only resource for it. So I usually don't accept uh, that minimal amounts, but hey, I'll do it now. So, Pro managed to penetrate the upper atmosphere but was destroyed by immense pressures at lower altitudes, just like the real planet is. Just a big pile of gases and strong winds. So let's see, Passive A, and it's going to be a little piece of rock. Okay. And I got another probe to produce. Not much else to do, but more probing. So the next one was Enceladus. Yep. Enceladus. Launch you in the atmosphere. Well, not atmosphere, but still. And Enceladus. Go! Probe production complete. More probes. Nothing but probes. How much longer until Meteor arrives? Seven days. Seven. Just two more days, and Meteor has arrived, and then we can build the Carrick. At least that's what I remember, why it's coming here, and why I was so excited at the end of the last video. There you are. Yep. We're gonna build a Carrick, that's for sure. Did I, I'm missing ten platinum. Well, let's see. After I build the next probe, we'll see. Asteroids. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, let's see. Carrick. Yes, can build it. Let it be built. Meanwhile, let's send some more probes into the sky. Uh, Tethys, Dion, and. Rhea. Okay. Tethys, Dion, Rhea. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Tethys. Rhea. And Dion. Launch. Excuse that little hiccup there, and there was somebody at the door. I don't know why I'm talking in a British accent. Anyway, sending this one to Tethys. Go! This one to Rhea. Go! And you to Dion. Go! More colony under attack! No, no. Let us defend! 
Defend our honor and home and whatnot. Die, you Martian scum! I'm gonna laser you to death! Come on! Explode! Got two hit on me, but I got several on you. Next. Where is that? Son of a. There you are. The radar isn't really not useful in this because you can hardly see where they, where they are. Come on. Come on. I gotcha. Gotcha. Now go away and leave me alone. Stupid. Martian pieces of crap. I really need those damn colonies. I really want that uranium. No, where was it? Was it later? Uranium. I need that uranium. Because the, um. Because the orbital lasers are really useful. They can kill from five to ten fighters at, a, at once. That's why I need it. It's extremely useful. I didn't even get the production running because they attacked on the same dick. Bastards. Rock has arrived. That stupid mosquito, get out of my face. Don't you just hate summertime sometimes because of the mosquitoes and all the flies and everything? So annoying. Let's get those in. I still need a lot of copper to get the SIOS, but I'm gonna have enough platinum for it now. So, Rock, thank you for the stuff, and you may go back. Get back to work. Let's see, how much did I need? 100. And I got 150 platinum. Okay. And copper, I needed 100. And I got 60. If they find another of those big piles of platinum and copper in the asteroids, I'll be very happy. If they both find one of those, I'll be extremely happy. And now I'm happy that I have a Carrick. I just need an SIOS. I'll make some Sologen Mark 10s because I need to get that to the colony as well. Saturn orbit. Achieved. There you go. There's Saturn. Lovely yellow planet, apparently. Colony, Saturn. I know that there might not be any room for a colony there because it's a gas giant just like Jupiter. But let's uh, name our Carrick. Let us name it. Get away from me, stupid mosquitoes. I hate bugs. I have a little bug phobia. Even flies can really, really annoy me. Well, not just annoy me; they kind of, you know, scary. That's what a that's what a phobia is, anyway. Fear of stuff, whatever it is. And with me, it is bugs. But I'm also afraid of heights. Uh, let's see, entertaining. Let's see, what would be a good name for this craft? Let us name it Justice. Although it's not a fighter or anything, it's just... No, actually I got a better name. FREEDOM! Yes. And it needs 80 people. So let's assigning crew now. There we go. I need to make some more fighters for it and that's about it. So how much people do we have? Well, only 150. I got the research going, I got the production going. Center research complete has a minerable. Minerable. Minerable? Mi mi mineral? Mine? Mi I don't know. Not much copper, not much, but I'll still take it. Because it has both. So that's good enough. Oh, we can live on Saturn. It's got a hydrogoid. Atmosphere is molten hydrogen, so mutation will be inevitable. Inevitable. 
Hydrogen, oxygen, water, nitrogen, methane, sulfur, silica, iron. I uh, really what I need. I got most of those from here, so not exactly anything particular that I would need. Which I don't know where to get. <laughs> well, rock works fast. It was like two days there. No platinum and only ten copper. Leave it. Nope. I only take those that have both. So how about this new one? Any more luck? 50 platinum and no copper. Leave it. Those are the only two aspects that I look for in those asteroids. That they have those two. In some amount. 10 and 40. I'll take it. 10... Platinum is not much, but it's more that I have already than copper, so I'll take more copper. Okay, that production is done, so let us go make some fighters. I can't make a bunker because bunkers are not movable. It would be nice to have bunkers for the other colonies, but it's impossible. Okay. Let's unload all the stuff that you had. Ten more. Just ten more. Then I can make my first colony somewhere. And a good thing that rock has that rock that has it. Fighter com production complete. Let's make another one. It's always good to have two at least, like I told you already. So the Carrack, go to equipment, and from here we take the M the Mark 10 and the two fighters. It can also fit a few orbital lasers if you had any, which would be good. But since we don't have any, we'll just take those things now. Those things for now. And wait until we can build... SIOS. I'm still not sure which of the places I'm gonna put it into. Maybe Callisto. Oh, that's the copper and platinum. I want uranium, so I'm gonna make it into Leda. Because uranium is really important for now. Let's get you down. Get the payload. And now, after sending you back to the asteroids, of course Callisto is good because it has platinum and uh, silver is very good because it's one of the items that we don't have yet. And I'm gonna need it later, but not now. That's only for later. But now, SIOS to Leda. Not enough aluminum. How much aluminum do I want? Okay. I get about four each day, so it's gonna take quite a while before I can make it. So, while we wait, let's make some probe. Only uses two. And I get more each day, so. <laughs> It's always good to make more probes after all. Because there's so many planets and satellites to discover. So next is Titan and Hyperion. Titan. Boop. And Hyperion. Off it goes into space! Titan to Titan. Oh, it takes only three months now. It's good. A three and a half. Means they're closer, closer to us. Hyperion. Oh, right. Moving on. Okay. Mimas has reached its end. So, let us land. Research. Mice. 
Do I need production? More probes. So let's see. An insignificant little piece of rock. Too bad. Probing, probing, probing. Enceladus has reached its orbit. Let it land. You know the research. You know the drill. I could cut this off, but that would not take away from the game, and I don't want that because I want to show everything. Everything. You will sell all. Rock has a mineral. Uh, 10 and 30. Nope. I'm not gonna take it. Oh, it's a lot of human. No mutation. Hydrogen, oxygen, water, and nitrogen. <laughs> not a good place for a colony, really. Probe production complete. More probes. And I'm gonna send them all. How many probes do I have already? Let's make those three vacant spots full, then I'll send them all at the same time. It's always better to send them all at the same time because of this. You get more places at the same time. To work with in the research. There we go. Let's reach the research Tethys. More probes. More probes. Tethys is done. It's human. Oh, it's got copper and uranium. Hmm. Maybe I'll make that my next one after Callisto. Let's read some research in Dion. Pro production and. Okay, let's make it one more probe. It's an unstable satellite. I already knew that. What about Rhea? Oh, it's human. It's got platinum. Hmm. Okay. Nothing but platinum in there, so not really that useful anyway. It's always good to think of. Uh, um, damn it! Forgot to check what planet it goes to. Somewhere. That's your name. You're going somewhere, which is uh, Yepetus. 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 Okay. It's a good thing you can always rename them. Yeah, Pettis. The next one is Phoebe. Phoebe. No, get back in there. Need to pay four. Next one is Uranus. I'm gonna probe Uranus. Yeah, it's still funny after everything. Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel. Miranda. Ariel. Umbriel. Launch. Launch fighters. And Titania. Launch fighters. I said launch. Oh, right. That's a lot of probes. So, let's send them away. Only 83 days. So, they'll be reaching their destinations pretty much at the same time as the others that I've sent before. Because they have gone, well, they had gone a long time ago, so maybe not at the same time. Uranus. That's 200 days. That's gonna take a 
We will be waiting for that info for a long time, apparently. So this was Miranda. And it's Ariel. Umbriel. And Titania. And now, let's see how much I've got aluminum. Enough! So, let us make the SIOS to Leda. Our first colony is on the way. And as you can see, it takes a lot of power to make one. So with that, with the first colony on the way, let's see how long it might take for it. Okay. Thank you, Martians, for ruining my colony making. Maybe they knew. You've got spies here. Martians are spy! They definitely have spies on my moon base because they attack at the same day I make a colony ship. Definitely. Most definitely. Getting good hits on it. Maybe it will hit once. No, it didn't even have a chance to shoot at me. Ha 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 ha. Gotcha. Okay, got two more fighters left. You guys can briefly see the number of how many of them Martians are there. In the middle. Down in the middle, you can see the number of how many of attackers there is. How many you have to stop. While defending your base. And each time they attack, the numbers increase. Like this time it's four, so next time it's gonna be five, and then six, and seven, and so forth, and so forth. And they're pretty easy to defeat. Once you get the hang of with the controls and everything. And with that done, let us continue. Rock has some minerable... Minerable... Ah, now this is a good one because it has copper 80 and platinum 60, so I'll take it. That's exactly what I like to see. Because then... I can make another SIOS. But of course I need to make another Carrick. It's always good to have one Carrick per colony. It's already at 22% after 3-4 days, so... It takes a long while to make it. There it is. Excuse me. So there it is. And it always goes into orbit right away. So let's see that we have all the stuff that we need. Two fighters and one solar gen mark 10. Good. So let us launch it. And set the colony on its way. Only 50 days. They're really close today. That's good. Because I don't really want to wait that long for it to arrive to its destination. And so we got pretty lucky there, having them so close to the moon. Because they're over there. And we're right here. Yeah. We could have been closer, but... Alas. But still, under two months, that's pretty good. And with that, I'm gonna call it the video here. So I hope you enjoyed. And next time... We're gonna have our new colony! Our first colony, actually. And you will see how that goes. And we shall be getting our platinum. And then I shall make some orbital lasers for the colony and the moon base. And those attack scenes that you have seen so far will be less exciting. Because I'll be just using those orbital lasers to destroy all the fighters. And there will be no more of uh, me using the fighters unless the orbital laser really sucks and hits only a few of them because like I said it has chance of hitting <coughs> of hitting around I said about 5 to 10 but it can be to form from 4 to 10 fighters destroyed at once so it's a little finicky but uh, still orbital lasers are extremely extremely useful to have but anyway 
I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.